an incident that happened in Philadelphia on a train tr- on a subway. Basically, a woman was assaulted and or raped by, by a, a, an assailant. And there were people on the actual subway. And instead of helping her, they recorded it on their phones. Each box car, each train car, whatever you want to call it, has two call buttons on each train to push in the event of something occurs out of the ordinary for them to reach proper authorities. This is pretty normal in today's society for people to just record things when acts of violence or, you know, God forbid, rape is going on. This happens all the time. Um, in I don't know. I mean, I mean, police brutality, allegedly fights, riots, sexual assault. I've never heard this before. The human race is divided in two distinct sexes, male and female. While the typical man is a simple creature, there exists a subgroup, the nice guy, a dying breed of chivalrous, romantic, domesticated gentlemen whose qualities are desired by the opposite sex, allegedly. However, they are dismissed and confined in such concepts as the bestie, work husband, and the dreaded friend zone. Joe, Jason, and Manny are the last of the nice guys. Good evening, ladies and gents. Welcome to another fantastic episode of The Last of the Nice Guys. I am Joe. Oh, I'm Manny. Jason. It works. There you it go. Uh, and tonight's... See, usually tonight's because episode. I'm Joe and with me are, but, you know, Joe doesn't have any... Yeah, I just say, it's been, what are we, like episode 200? Um, today's, today's, tonight's fantastic ep- uh, episode is titled, What the Fuck is Wrong with People, a.k.a. The Problem with Society. Absolutely. And I'm going to just jump right into it. We have comments to discuss, but uh, we're going to do it next next uh, next week. So any of those who made comments, thank you so much. I'm definitely going to be getting to it next week uh, as part of a regular episode, not a response episode. Um, this topic has been inspired by there was a um, an incident that happened in Philadelphia on a train tr- on a subway. Basically, a woman was assaulted and or raped by, by a, 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 an assailant. And there were people on the actual subway. And instead of helping her, they recorded it on their phones. And the only reason why she was assisted was because a worker heard it and, and was able to call in the cops, who was able to catch him in the act of raping this individual at the next tra- train station. They actually responded no, within three not minutes. The next. Well, yeah, when, when the police were finally called, this whole thing took 45 minutes. No, well, it took 45 minutes, but when they finally, when the police finally were contacted, they got to Yeah, it minutes. took them three minutes to get there, but the whole right. act took 45 minutes. Exactly. So when I heard this story on the radio and I heard people were there and that they were just recording it, they were recording it on their phone. Nobody assisted. They were recording it. I remember saying audibly, what the fuck is wrong with you people? What is wrong with our society where instead of helping or calling for assistance, even if you don't want to get physically involved, you were recording this on your phone? Why? What part of that, whether it was a men or women, I don't know who, how many people were there. And I hope they got charged for something, everybody that was on that freaking train. Because you see something, you say something. It was so bad that I believe the police My chief had to, had to go on TV and say, listen, we got to be better. You guys, can you please report things when you see them, not he to literally mention, went on there. Huh? Not to mention that each, each box car, each train car, whatever you want to call it, has two call buttons on each train to push in the event of something occurs out of the ordinary for them to reach proper authorities. So this, there was, 
No, I mean, they didn't even have to call from their phone. If it was that important for them to record, you yeah. could have just pushed the button. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Didn't happen. So this is this is the this is the feature on Philly's uh, train stations. They have this feature. Well, I think uh, all trains uh, have in it. that all trains. in that particular you know uh, line of trains they have it because they discussed okay. it in the article. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't know what New York City's new updated thing with that is. All I know is that if you pull the emergency brake, uh, nine times out of ten, it's either an idiot did it or it's something uh, something went wrong. So. That's that's their uh, you know alarm for something happening, but yeah, that's this is pretty this is this is pretty normal in today's society for people to just record things when acts of violence or you know God forbid rape is going on. This happens all the time. Um, in I don't certain- know. I mean, I mean, police brutality, allegedly fights, riots, sexual assault. I've never heard this before. You say it's normal. I, 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 this is a new law. No, no, it's normal for people to record things okay. that are happening in say. front of them instead of, yeah, instead of jumping in. Um, and I mean, honestly, I, I mean, I know what happened in Philly. Right. Uh, I, I'm not really too, I'm not too familiar with Philly. You know, shout out to all the Philadelphia listeners if there are any, but I, I'm not, I have never really been to Philly like that or visited Philly, but I will tell you that if it happened and I was, <laughs> excuse me, I was actually mentioning this to the guys in our chat, if it did happen on MTA, which is the New York City's uh, uh, transportation service, I 100% believe that someone would have butt in and attempted to stop this guy, or at least beat his ass or did something. I, I strongly feel that that's what, that's what would, would have happened if this occurred in New York City. Um, I, but I, I, However, I can't account for any other state because <laughs> I don't know how their transport their transportation systems work like that. I mean, I don't think it's the transportation. I I don't I don't uh, I, I mean I don't know if it's a Philadelphia thing. I don't think it's a Philadelphia. I think it's just a people thing. You know what I'm saying? And I've seen some stuff on World Star in New York City where instead of them actually assisting, they would just watch. Um, I mean, I believe there was one video where a, a black guy was stomping out an old lady looked like, and. And all they do is just just going ooh oh ooh, and if he's done stomping out, he he exits the train. He goes he goes world star that my nigga, and gets right off. I remember that video. Where was this? This was I saw this video. I, I and I know it was a subway because I know what a New York City subway looks like. So I don't think it's a it's a uh, a Philadelphia thing. It's, a, it's, no, a, it's it's a it's a reality. It's a person this, thing. Yeah. This is what we're what we're what we're seeing. This is what's happening. So. I'm just trying to figure out because look, look at this way. Joe and I just got back from um, uh, Atlanta. Atlanta. And the only reason why there's proof that we ever went to Atlanta is because I recorded the entire time. Joe didn't do a <laughs> shit. He just sat there, right? But I'm telling you right now, as much as I love recording and taking photos, if I saw some shit go down, I am not the most macho guy in the world. It would not have gone down like that in front of my face. It wouldn't have happened. I would have put my phone down. Or Especially to was, a woman too, and intervened, because again, this could have been my my mother, my sister, my friend, my future wife. It, you know, it could have been anybody. Mm-hmm. That you know, karma's a bitch, ladies and gentlemen. And I always say, act in a way you'd like to be treated yourself. You wouldn't want somebody just recording somebody you care about getting sexually assaulted, raped. Okay. You wouldn't like it if it happened to you or happened to somebody that you knew. So why would you allow, allow, allow it to happen in front of you when you could absolutely, right. even if you don't want to physically get involved, like Man Man said, Manny said, press the call button, use your cell phone, get off the train, get, get somebody to get in, call an adult. We need an adult over here. Anything. <laughs> Mind you, they're the all The only adults. reason why <laughs> this was stopped is because a worker saw it and contacted authorities. Not a single passenger did, said, or acted in any way to help this woman. And and by then, what is wrong long, with our society? How long was the wait time between the between the um, the worker calling the authorities? Three minutes. Three minutes. They got her in three minutes. Okay. They got her in three minutes. You know, and some people have the nerve to say they should have gotten to her faster. I'm like, I'm like, are you are you are you? Who the hell cares about that? They would have gotten to her faster had had somebody on the train said something i wish 
explosive diarrhea on everybody on that train. I wish karma to hit you on that train because that is disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. I really, really do hope that these people get some kind of comeuppance. They get some kind of charge, something. I, I, so, I believe they deserve it. I'm, I'm reading a little bit more you know, random articles about it and speed reading through them. Okay. Um, one of the excuses that people didn't involve themselves in the situation, one reason was given that um, they didn't know what kind of danger they would have been in had they interceded. Uh, another person was questioning the consensuality of the act. Okay. Um, oh, wait. wait I was, I, I, I'll be real, very real. I'll be very, very, very raw <laughs> real with this. I don't think sexual assault or rape can it's consensual. be consensual. It cannot. No, no, can be misinterpreted, misunderstood as foreplay or consensual people know the difference between no don't to oh my god what's happening stop i mean let's be reasonable i'm i'm, I'm saying it in jest but that right there is is the most bullshit excuse right ever you cannot the- mistake consensual public intercourse with sexual assault and or rape yeah can we it also mind literally different the fact that it's, it was done on a train who 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 even does any of that consensually on a train? No, I mean, listen, listen. We all have our sexy time, okay? It happens. We've all had. <laughs> yeah, come on, we, come on now. You can't tell me you haven't gotten on a train in somewhere. No, 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 public and the trains are different. I'm just saying, I, people, public, people, public, people, public people. Being, doing it in public is different than doing it on a train. A I'm train, you have that's multiple public. people watching. What? On a train, you have you have the you have you have the. Um, uh, uh, I guess the ability to see multiple people in close knit proximity when it when, when, comes in to reality, if you want to get it in and you don't care, you're going to do it wherever you want to do it. That, that's just the reality of it. But that's not the point. I mean, I don't think being in public, I, I mean, if, if it was consensual and it wasn't on the train, I'd be like, you know, go get it guy. Because some people are like that. I mean, it's, it's happened. Which but is also, is, saying, it, is that a break in the law? That's public and decent. Yeah, of course it's breaking the law, but mm-hmm. it, come on. Let's, let's be let's be reasonable. It's it's public. It's technically it's publicly decency if you're doing it in your own car in public. You get in trouble yeah. too. It's the same thing. So people can do it on the train. They can do it in the car. What I am saying though is that that excuse is bullshit. I want to know the name of the person who made that excuse so I can go in and, and slap them in the face. Kiss my hand. That, that that's that's bullshit. That's bullshit. The other excuse. I don't know what danger I'd be in. Okay. I understand that. So you're willing to, to, to sit in a car and watch somebody else get violated, then try to help. So when it happens to you, not if, when it happens to you, you're going to be okay with the fact that people were there that could have assisted you and didn't assist you. I'm, being, I'm asking a, a question, a real question here. Wouldn't you have wanted to be assisted if you were in that situation? Wouldn't you feel some kind of way if nobody rendered assistance to you? And you have people right there watching and recording. Forget about everybody. personal. Forget about personal protection. You're seeing a fellow human being in distress. You would want that behavior to be done for you. You'd want somebody to intercede on your behalf. You'd want somebody to assist you. That excuse is just as bullshit, but it's it's more selfish. At least the other one is a dumbass one. This one is selfish. It's kind of hurtful. Because there's nothing you can tell you. I want that person to look. I want them to look this the the the, um, the victim in the eyes and say, "Listen, I didn't help you because I was afraid for my own safety." Can, can you do that? Can any of these people look at look at them look at the victim in their face with justification and say, "I was afraid for my own safety. Um, I didn't know whether it was consensual or not." If they can do it, and you and you and you and you can stand by those words, go for it. But there's no way whatsoever these people can look at this victim and say these things. These are bullshit excuses. Manny, what are you reading? I think he's got um, like a I'm, articles in front of him. That he's well, yeah, I'm, I'm reading different articles because remember this incident happened like two and a half weeks ago. So yeah. I'm trying to, I'm trying to like read up to what we're at right now. And I'm reading a lot of litigation and, and court 
issues because there's a lot of cases saying that um that the authorities got a hold of the um the the tape of the is it? every car every car has a tape right so they're reviewing it because apparently the narrative that was put out in the news is not accurate as what far as well people, i mean i'm not surprised <laughs> people people were standing around for 45 minutes just filming this you know act in act actually happening but the articles are not saying exactly what happened and what transpired in the video so this is all like it's it's very unclear so i'm i'm confused on on you I was know, unclear, like, but but you but you you have quoted two people who are there, correct? Are those are those are those verified Vada quotes? These are all like um, articles from Philly itself, because I'm not concerned no, about said, what any you other. You said that two two of the people who were in the car had excuses, right? So are yeah, those it, but they didn't. They weren't named. They weren't named. They just That's fine. in the article they, as right. So, but they were but they were verified that they were there and that they that they um, witnessed it. Yeah. 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 Okay. I don't care if it was one person, two people. I don't know how many people there were. The fact of the matter is that there were people there to watch this go down. I don't even care how long it lasted. It could have been four minutes, 45 seconds. It doesn't of matter course. how long it and, lasted. And, and the fact that, I mean, listen, if I see something, just like you said, if I see something happening in front of me that obviously is not consensual, I'm going to get involved. I've done it in the past. I'm going to continue doing it because <laughs> you're going to hate this. I have daughters. <laughs> so, <laughs> look at his face. <laughs> and the same, the same way that I would stand up for my daughters, or I'm sorry, the same way that I would expect somebody to stand up for my daughters is I'm going to do it for somebody else's daughter or whatever, because you don't know at the time. Exactly. Obviously. So it's just a, a part of, you know, society needs to just re-engage in that you know help your neighbor out you know yeah. just we all need to love each other once again because the problem with this whether it was just four minutes of filming or 45 minutes filming whatever have you the fact that you're even filming and no one's helping is the problem now i get you want you know evidence that something was there okay all right hey jason Get your phone on and, and record this. I'm about to step in there and do something. Joe, sit there and casually laugh in the corner. Don't worry, I got this. <laughs> but still, like, the fact that people were just recording and not doing anything is the problem. Again, like I said, there's nothing saying that those call buttons on the, on the, on the car was pushed. Because And I've read several articles while you guys were talking. I read, like, six of them. None of them mentioned that these buttons were pushed. So, again... This is something that was clearly fucking ignored, which bothers the hell out of me because that's something I could never tolerate. You know, how do you just you're, you're basically encouraging the act as you're filming it, because if the perpetrator is being allowed to do what he wants to do or what he's trying to do in that moment, you're allowing it. You're 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 just giving him more feel. He's like, oh, shit, no one's going to stop me. So I'm going to keep going. That mentality is very harmful and hurtful to everybody in society, everybody in the world. So if, you know, it's, it's much like how criminals think, if I'm going to get away with it one time and I'm greedy, I'm going to continue doing it. You know, if I got away with that first time, I'm going to do it better the next time. I'm going to do it better the next time. If I finally got caught, I'm going to figure out a way around it, you know, so that I don't get caught again, because that's how these criminals do. Now, the sad part is, again, I, I wonder how many of these people that were just standing around not looking and not or not doing anything like how do they go home? What do they go home to? You know, how how is their household? What was the thought process when they got home? Do they have kids? You know, what would they do if they were in that situation? And it was one of their kids, their mother, you know, sister, what have you? You know, are you going to sit there and be like, oh, I got this. Like, right. how are you going to react to it? You, you know, you know what it is. I, I, it's that's what's wrong with our society. Everybody is selfish. We've gone beyond self-absorbed. I used to believe that. No, no, I do believe that everybody, no matter how nice you are, we're all self-absorbed to a degree. It's when you cross that line, that selfishness, where your comfortability supersedes anything else, i.e., somebody else's uh, well-being, uh, 
safety, et cetera, et cetera, and so forth. Our society has become very selfish. Very selfish. Yep, and it's, it's become because, problematic. Because, because what you, the, the excuses you gave were selfish excuses. Okay, even the one thing, well, I didn't know if it was consensual. I'm going to ask you, I'm going to be very clear. Can either of you guys, for a moment, envision what was going on and think that not one way, one time, she didn't ask for help out loud? Help me, help. Well, Let's be according, reasonable. According to the article, she blacked uh -huh. out at one point. Okay, she blacked out at one point. She blacked her, out. Her, 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 body, her body went into shock. Right. Oh, wow. Okay. So now, but here's the thing, though. Anybody could know the difference between somebody passing out, going into shock, you know, because their, their body is showing it. So at no point did it look pleasurable to that forget, forget to the, that. To the female. Forget that. What I'm saying is, do you really believe this, this female, this woman, was being assaulted even before she blacked out and she didn't ask out, she didn't audibly say once, help. I'm sure she did. Or help me. I'm sure. With she that did. being said, how in the flying hell can somebody say I didn't know that was that was, that was, if that was consensual or not? There's no. I cannot envision a moment where a woman being sexually assaulted isn't screaming bloody murder or asking for help, even if nobody is around, at least once. Hey, regardless if she was asking for help or she was passed out, which makes it 10 times worse, it's still done in a way where the dude is overpowering and basically um, exploiting her weakness by, by fucking doing something that's, that clearly he's not supposed to be doing. And passing out just sounds 10 times worse. That, I mean, that's like, that's like getting a, a young girl drunk and you're like 30 years old and she's like 18 or 17 or whatever, and you're, you know, you're taking advantage. It's, it's a complete and utter, that's a crime. That's a, that's a hundred percent crime. Well, that's of course it's a crime, up. you know, rape that's, rape. that's incredibly fucked up. But, I mean, I didn't even know she, pa she passed out. And again, that no, makes I, I see, I didn't go that far. I only heard, because I couldn't, I didn't want to, I didn't want to look up the article because I was so appalled. I only heard it on, on the radio, uh, right. what was going on. And I, then I heard the appeal from the, from the, the chief of police or whatever it was saying, guys, I mean, Basically, yeah. basically, he might as well just said, like, what the fuck, guys? Can you just, like, like, really? Could you treat our fellow man proper and, like, you see something, say something, call somebody? Do you, like, do you guys think that if this incident happened in the 90s where people didn't have cell phones to record, do you think that people would have helped still before well, technology you're, took you're it? You're assuming, you're, you're assuming that, that, that the cell phone recording technology is what prevented them from helping. I think what that probably did was, was provide, like, a, like a security shield. You hide, you hid behind your screen. So, no, I don't think it has anything to do with the cell phones or the technology or the recording or, the, or our yeah, need to document I don't, everything. I don't I, think it, it completely has I think, technology I think has, is completely at fault. I think it this. has nothing to do with it. It was the people. Because I'm telling you right now, just as, just as quickly as you could have put your phone on record, you could have put your phone down and gone over there to assist. It has nothing to do with it. Yeah, I think, do, I think it's just, it's the mentality of, it's not me. It's not my problem. Yeah. You know, and, but, and this, but, this, but just, it's I so should document harmful. this. It's not me. It's not but my this, problem, but this is the reason why this is the reason why I mentioned before about certain states, because like you mentioned before, you heard you saw an example, Jay, of a, of a elderly, elderly woman getting stomped out. Yeah. I have heard and seen examples of helpless people, including like the, those whole incidents where Asian guys or Asian women were getting attacked. Mm -hmm. I had seen a video where no one helped the Asian woman. And then another video, I had seen several people help an Asian man, an elderly Asian man getting attacked, like actually holding the guy back that was attacking him. I, it, 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 I think it does depend, like not 100%. I think it kind of partially small, itty bitty thing where it depends on like where you live a tiny bit. Because I do feel yes. like New York neighborhoods, is a little bit yes. more tougher. Neighborhoods and cultures, sure. But certain things are universal. You see somebody in need, you should help them. Especially when their life is in yeah, danger. Yeah, it's just common threat. sense. You should. You, you see should. this in media. You see this when you grow up. You see this in, in, in reality. That's common. That's what you should call a universal thing across cultures. Somebody needs help. You're there. You render assistance. You know, 
Now, if you go to the individual person and their upbringings and then their cultures, then you, we're going to a bag of cats. But I'm being really general. Every culture, every creed, every gender all have a universal understanding that if somebody's in need, help them. Help them. Especially yeah. if they're in, in bodily harm or something like that, you help them. You know, you help them. You should want to help them. Here's an example. I work uh, in a hospital system and I was driving back from uh, lunch. As I'm driving by, I see this individual, long hair, wearing a green hospital gown, opened up, hand is bandaged, roaming the street. I said, well, that's not normal. How did this happen? I parked my car. I, 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 I run out to go find this individual. So I told my, my boss, I was, I'm running late. I, I just saw some, some shit. I got to go check this out. Somehow this patient got out of the hospital, down the road, and got all the way to the bus station. I don't know how that happened. How did he get out of the hospital in a gown? How did he exit the building? How did he get past all the corkers that walk and drive by? Why was I the only person that, that, that seemed to see this? I'm not an altruistic guy, but I was like, what, what is this? As I'm, as I, as I'm walking, I, I actually made a good an educated guess. I said he had to have been going north. So I went north. As I'm going, I'm passing by, a, a, not a coworker, but, a, but a, you know, an employee. I said, hey, did you see a, a patient in a gown? I said, oh, yeah, he's sitting over there at the bus talking to somebody else. And I looked at them and I was like, the, in the, he's in the gown? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, thanks. She says, <laughs> oh, somebody, somebody escaped. Ha, 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 ha. And I'm like, I look, I turned back at her, look at her like, are you serious? And I just kept on walking. I find the guy, I said, sir. He turns around. And when I, when he turns around, he had gauze taped right here. Like he had some kind of like a scission or whatever it was. His thing was open. He only had the, 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 um, uh, uh, pants like 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 the hospital booty pants. He's barefoot. His left hand is completely bandaged up. He has no idea why he was kicked out of the hospital, or so he claims. I sit there and I listen to his entire story. He woke up at the top of one of the pillars on the 95. He doesn't know how he got there. His car was a mile down the road. He doesn't even know how he got up there because it's a long pillar. I call security. Uh, security, listen, I have this patient. He doesn't, he doesn't know why he was, he said he claims he was, he was kicked out of the hospital. He doesn't know how. I said, he's in a, 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 a he's in hospital gown. He's, a, he's like, I don't get it. So they finally come and they, they call. The guys uh, can't really walk. I don't know how he walked over there. I don't know how he hobbled over. Security comes up and says, man, what are you doing out here? And so I explained to, the, to what he told me. He goes, oh, well, you know, well, you can walk. Why don't you walk back to the hospital? I said, my man, he can't walk. His leg is, 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 is bandaged as well. What, like, what, what are you talking about? He goes, man, you can walk. The guy gets up. He can't, he's, he's having struggle in getting up. So I, I let him lay, lean on me to get up. And I walk. I, use, I let him use me as like a crutch. And I put him on the back of, of the um, golf cart. And I said, listen, I don't know. I don't know what. And the guy's like, yeah, 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 we're good. Thanks a lot. And drove off. And I stood there. And I, was, I have a picture. I took one picture because just in case something happened, I said, at least this, this, this is a picture of him on the back of this golf cart. So I know this is what he looked like. And this is what happened just in case something happens again. And I don't know what happened. He didn't take a statement. They didn't ask me any questions. He just disappeared with, with, the, with the guy. Took him right back to the hospital, I believe. But the callousness of the, 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 the employee that, that walked by me, that walked by him, the callousness of the security guard that came and was like, get up, you know, walk. What are you doing? What are you doing over here? As opposed to, sure, sir, let's get you back there. Let's find out what happened to you. Let's see, what, did they really discharge you? Like, what really happened? This guy's clearly in mental distress. He's not violent. He just was just distressed, confused. And I know they didn't let him out in a freaking gown. There's no way. To walk around barefoot? No, something happened. But where's the empathy? Why is it that I was the only person and I just happened to see him 
as I was driving back, and I don't usually leave campus. I usually do my 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 um my my workout. And I went back to the tour. And oh, they joked around. Oh, Superman, Jason, look look at him. Look at look what you did. But I sat down very disturbed. Superman, Jason, my God. Exactly. I said <sighs> I, I was very disturbed. I said I was just doing my job. I, said, I was very disturbed because how did this happen? How did he get so far away from the ER? When no and nobody, nobody said anything. Nobody inquired as to, hey, do you need help? The guy was really appreciative. What the fuck is wrong with you people? What is wrong with society? That's what I'm trying to say. These are these are stories that people just you turn a blind eye. But again, I and I always say this on this podcast: put yourself in their shoes. Wouldn't you want to be helped? Wouldn't you want to be cared for? Wouldn't you want somebody to stop and say, hey, to hear you out, to get you back where you're going when you when you to stop you from being assaulted, stop you from being mugged, stop you from being raped, stop you from being killed. Wouldn't you want that? But you can't ask for the universe what you're not willing to give yourself. Yep. Yes, you might have endangered your 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 your, your well-being by assisting that woman. But I'm sorry, that's a good reason to get hurt, to help someone. I'm being preachy in this episode because it, it bothers me. I'm being oh, preachy in this episode because, because it, 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 it upsets me that these things are going on. Jens, final thoughts before we wrap up. Hey, I, um, I, 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 really, I really think that... Uh, Today's society needs a huge overhaul change. We need to be better. And the idea that the selfishness is still running rampant it's, is absolutely insane to me. And lack I don't of know empathy. why people... No empathy. I don't know why people seem to think that um, only caring about yourself is going to go so far. Uh, and, and, and you're not... It's not like you're never going to witness anything in your life that is terrible and negative you're, you're bound to see something or hear something that is going to twist your stomach um and it's crazy how unfortunate these people on the train with this incident decided that it was best in their interest to record rather than help and you know help could have been in any form like these guys were talking about calling the police, calling a worker, uh, stepping in yourself, doing something. I mean, I, I, I don't mean to go into detail, but, you know, if there were any guys at that point in time, you could have grabbed a weapon or something or, and hit the guy, or, you know, just to get him off the woman. You could have something, anything. I, I, I mean, I know violence that. is not really the key, but... Not in, that, in that instance, violence is the key. What are you talking about? No, no, no the, I'm saying... That's violence. the only way to go. In, in an overall sense, I don't, I'm not going to promote violence, but I'm saying for instances like I'm this, I, I, I entirely and wholeheartedly think that violence would have been the best answer. I mean, a helpless woman who was passed out, and even if she wasn't, women need to be protected more. I know we talk shit about women on this podcast, and we do it all the time. However, however, when it comes to protection and the health of women, that's something that we actually take very serious. Manny being the one that has two daughters and. Um, <laughs> yeah, the Manny, Manny has daughters. So that in itself should be enough for this man. And even if he didn't, I'm sure he would feel the same way in regards to protecting women. It's just a matter of. I mean, I mean, yeah, we're focusing on the, the story because it was a woman. But I mean, in, I'm talking about in general. No, no, I, I get it, yeah. And I'm, no, in I'm general, talking about think, in general about helping people be doing the right thing. Yeah, just like all those general. stupid World Star videos where you just you're seeing random people just punching the shit well, out of people. World Star, no World Star is an enabler. Yeah, World that Star whole that whole platform is just it's yeah. it's it's yeah. disgusting. I don't I don't pay I don't pay attention to any of it because you know we we're all here to talk about how we don't want to promote violence and we don't you know, beget violence, but that just, it, that's too much. You're just, in, you're, you're, you're enabling everybody just to do all the wrong shit, just to do be whatever put the fuck on this platform, you know, just to get clout. And that's ridiculous. You know, um, it, it, it's, it's, 
I, I can't, I don't even have the words on like how I feel about the situation. Cause it's just, it's so sad. It's disheartening. And, and, and if this is where we're going, like, I don't, it's not I, even I where we're going. It's where we are. Well, that's, I'm that's, saying as far as it's gonna, if it gets out. worse, if we, I mean, if we're, we're at, if this is where we're at now, where are we going from here? You know, and it's it's scary. It's a very scary idea to think that it could get worse. You know, and you know, having children, this is this this is horrible. This is this is not the world I want to raise children in. You know, it's just it's sad. Now, by um, children, you're referring to your daughters, right? I'm I'm speaking in general as far as being parents. Okay. okay. So I'm, I'm just asking, I'm just making sure that, that we're, we're clarifying what you meant by <laughs> raising children. I need to make sure that we all are on the same page. Children in general. I'm sure any parent out there would feel the same exact way that if this is one especially, of their children. Especially parents, daughters. Definitely. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I mean, I've said enough. I, I just, we should be better. And shame on those individuals. Shame on those individuals that did not assist even a little bit. Shame on them. And I, I, I wish nothing but the worst for you. And I'm sorry that I'm saying it like this, but I mean it. I wish nothing but the worst for you because karma needs to smack you in the face in some kind of way and a very, very, very overt way. I want karma to smack you in the face and say, you know why. That's it. Yep. It's awful. It's, it's, a, it's an awful story. Awful, awful, awful story. And I, I literally cannot believe that is something we have to cover. Very powerful so, episode, I must say. It, it uh, well, yeah, th- thank you, Joe. I really, uh, thanks, thanks for uh, for uh, <laughs> just very. Um, but anyway, that that's it, guys. I mean, very little jokes in this episode. I know you guys like us when we're clowning around, but you know, I we can be serious. I can be serious when I hear something that 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 appalls me, and it takes a lot to appall me. Okay, so um, that's it about it. Really I'm, does. I'm Jason. I'm Joe. And I'm Manny. And thank you for your time. The last of the nice guys. Follow, like, and subscribe on Twitter and Instagram at last nice guys. Facebook.com slash last nice guys or email last of the nice guys at yahoo.com.